I cannot believe that I am actually doing a skincare video. How long has it been? If you've watched any of my old videos, and I know many of you have, you know that I have really different feelings about skincare. Just skincare in general. I believe it's important, but I believe that it's a self-regulated industry and promises are made and promises are broken. We spend a ton of money on skincare. And does it work? I'm, I'm not even going to get into it, but I, what I'm going to do is I will, I will show you what I use. And I will tell you that I change around. I've, for so many years, I have been one of those that I, it's like I'm always trying new things. I always, if I see something and promises are made and I'm going, ooh, ooh, I, I, I need to try that, I try it. And then I will use it and I won't see any results and I'm mad at myself for even falling for it again. Many of you know that when I've, buy a new skincare product, and this has been forever that I've done this, way before YouTube, I what I would do is I would use it only on one side of my face. Whatever it was new, I would use it on one side of my face only. I would continue to use what I was using before on the other side of my face. And then after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, but a minimum of 30, I would really look at my skin and see if I could tell a difference. And that's pretty much how I knew whether something would work for me, whether it was a high-end product, expensive, or whether it was drugstore. And listen, you know as well as I do that drugstore skincare especially has now gotten up there in price close to the department store and what I would call the high-end, what you buy at, say, Sephora or the department stores behind the makeup counters. It's, ex it's expensive even on the drugstore level. So I'm, I've realized this past year that I have gravitated to just a routine of the same products. I'm past the point of thinking that there's a skincare product that's gonna make me look 10 years younger or even five years younger. I've always taken good care of my skin. I've always used something. But, but I find that I'm gravitating every day to particular products. And that's why I decided to do this. And I'm looking at what I have here on my table in front of me. Now, can, do, do some people truly see differences in their skin? Yes, I believe they do. I believe that there are some people, and I've read this in numerous places, I believe that if you've never taken good care of your skin, if you've never done anything, maybe you get in the shower and you wash your face with whatever you wash your body with. Now listen, the exception to that is I've heard that Dove soap is great to take your makeup off with. I've never tried it, but I've heard that. So, but I'm talking about just any any harsh soap that you would use to clean your body, you've cleaned your face. You've never used moisturizer. You've never done any of those things. So when you start to take care of your skin and use maybe products that are designed for your skin, for your face, you do see a difference. I mean, you would almost have to. So with that being said, I'm going to show you, I'm not going to show you me going through all of this, but I'm going to show you the products and I'm not going to tell you ingredients or anything about them because if you're interested in them, I will list everything below with a link to where you can get it. Then I want you, if you're interested in something, I want you to just click on that link and then read all about it, research it for yourself. You decide if it's something that you want to spend your money on to try out, and you make that decision. So, all right, with all of that being said, these are the products that I gravitate to, and I'll try to sort of tell you why 
uh, or if I can. And sometimes I can't. It's just that I like it. Let's start with cleansing my face. Yeah, now, you have heard me talk about this over the years because I use uh, one of the oil-free eye makeup removers to take my eye makeup off. And this is the very first step I do in removing my makeup at night. This just happens to be the Equate oil-free eye makeup remover from Walmart. It's their brand. It's very similar to the Neutrogena that is, is probably twice this price for the same size, but it's fragrance free and I love this. Now, I also like the Target one. I like the CVS one. I, I just like these. This past year, I discovered the Garnier Micellar Water and I liked it. And I thought I liked it better than this. I, I thought it was a better price than this, but I, after using it for a while, I realized that I really didn't, it just wasn't doing as good of a job in removing my eye makeup as this was. And when I tell you this removes everything, it removes everything. How I do it is I take a cotton pad and I just put it on the cotton pad. And by the way, I've got, oops, <laughs> I have this top on my bottle. And this is not the top that came on my bottle. The top that comes on these are just the regular, whoops screw tops, but I like being able to not have to unscrew that top. So I, this came off of something else I don't even remember. But anyway, I saturate my cotton pad, and then what I do is I lay it on my eye. I don't rub it. I don't do anything. I just make sure that it's touching my eye, my whole eye, my eyebrow down under under my eye with the circles, and I just sort of press it and leave it for a few seconds, maybe five seconds, not long. And then I take it and I swipe it off. I don't have to rub. I'm amazed at how much comes off. And I will just briefly with that same, just very gently get it off. I can look in the mirror, it's gone. I flip it over because the backside's wet too, and I do the same thing to the other eye. And then I'll, you know, I look in my mirror, and if I see anything, I can, I usually will fold it over on a clean spot and dab to get anything underneath on those lower lashes or above my upper lash if I see anything that's been missed. This takes everything off, and I don't have to rub and tug on my eyes. I love this. I've been using this for years. I probably <laughs> I probably have three or four backups of this right now in my closet. So that is the very first thing I do. Now, I have been using the same cleanser for probably 15 years. Maybe that long. At least 10, but maybe 15. And it is the Purity Made Simple by Philosophy. It's the only product I use by Philosophy, but I love the Purity Made Simple. Let me just say right off the bat that I have a problem with fragrance, and I'm highly allergic to most fragrances. I have to be real careful with fragrance and products. I get severe migraines. I've put things on and I've had to go wash my face and get it off, or my body, get it off, my hands, get it off immediately. Uh, if so that I don't have a migraine. So this, I've had no problems with whatsoever. It has just the slightest fragrance. Now, this is a big old mambo jumbo size. This is 32 ounces. I buy it off of QVC. I buy it when they have a special deal on it. And this, uh, these, I, I just repurchased this probably back around Thanksgiving. They had, I think it was the Today Special Value, and you got two of these, and they have the pump, so you can put them uh, on your vanity if you want to, and you just pump about a quarter size of this. And I just pump maybe a nickel or a quarter size of this, and it cleans my whole face. I used to use Clear Sonic. I don't anymore. It died. They no longer make them. I know there are other Sonic... Um, cleansers out there, but I discovered uh, probably three or four years ago, and I've talked about these before, the Campanelli Microfiber Face Washing Cloths. They come in different colors. I order these off of 
I believe QVC. And like I said, I'm gonna try to put a link to everything in case you wanna check it out. Some of you will remember I gave these to my daughter and my daughters-in-law and my granddaughter for Christmas one year. I have a little monogramming sewing machine and I monogrammed their names on the end of them. And they were stocking stuffers for them and they love them. There are microfiber facial cloths out there everywhere. But I'm telling you, this look at this. This has been washed, there is no telling how many times this has been washed and it looks brand new, brand new. So here's what I do. I wet this first of all, I turn my water on in my sink and I just lay this down and it takes a while for it to soak, to get really wet. So I, I, the water's running on it. I splash a little bit of water on my face. I take a little bit of my Purity Made Simple in my hand, rub it together. I've already cleansed my eye makeup off. I lather up my face really well. And then by then, this is completely saturated. And I just start scrubbing my face and my neck. And I really scrub it and then I take a clean place and I scrub it. Sometimes I turn it over and I scrub it and I cleanse my, I clean my face with this. And then I rinse this because it's already wet and saturated. It's real easy to rinse it out. And I rinse it out really well and I, I just continue to clean my face until I know my makeup is gone. And then I bend down and splash my face with water to get anything off that might still be on. My face is clean and it feels wonderful. It feels wonderful. This, when you think about what you pay for it and how little it takes, I, this, is, this is just a great little cleanser. It says it's a one-step facial cleanser. And for me, it truly is. It would take my eye makeup off. There's no doubt about it. But I just really like doing my eye makeup separately. This does not burn my eyes. Well, this doesn't either. But it definitely does not burn my eyes. I can I keep this in the shower in case I want to wash my face in the shower. But it works. It just works. I will tell you that my, I believe it was my Sephora birthday present. You know, if you are a part of their VIP program, which anybody can be a part of, you just sign up for it, uh, you get a birthday present. And this year, this was one of the options. It was the Tatcha. This is the rice wash for your face. And this is the dewy skin cream. These are very expensive, very expensive. I just chose these. I thought, well, one of these days I want to try something different. About a month ago, I pulled it out. And you know what? I like this. I like this just fine. I use it the same way I use this. Takes just a little bit, wet my face, take a little bit of this, lather it up on my face, wash it off with my cloth, and I'm good to go. The moisturizer, the same. It's a nice moisturizer. I have nothing against them, except that I'm not going to pay that kind of money for it when when you see what I'm using. The next thing I do, and you're gonna see a little pattern here, the first thing I use is the Age Resist Serum Intensive. This is with ferulic acid, retinol, and vitamin C. And it's just a serum. And I just take a little bit of it. I mean, just a drop, really. Put it on my hands and go all over my face with it after my face is clean. And it just, I don't know what it does. I don't care. Whether it works or not, it makes my skin feel good. And for me, that's what it matters because, trust me, it's not getting any better. It's not going to... Uh, if I wanted to have a facelift, it would get better. I'm not going to have a facelift. It's not going to get better. The next thing I use, this is the Skin Divine Elixir, and you're going to hear that again in a minute, Luminous Firming Cream. And this is the facial cream that he says, he claims it a, has a 72-hour moisture lock. It has a little spatula. I don't use it. But this is what it looks like. And this is, a, oh gosh, this is so thick. Just, you can see. 
and these products, these divine elixirs, oh my gosh. It's not a strong scent, but it's just mm, the nicest scent. And I love the way it feels on my skin. I love it. I really do. I, you know, moisturizers don't add moisture to your skin. They help your skin retain the moisture that it already has. So, my oh, backs of my hands feel so good. And by the way, I, everything I put on my face, when I'm putting it on my face every day and night, I also put it on the backs of my hands. Whatever's left, I don't know, I've been doing that my whole adult, adult life as long as I've been using skincare. Then the very next thing I use is the Divine Elixir by Skin. It's the Luminous Facial Oil with Manuka Honey, plus C, and y'all know I've talked about this a lot. I love this. I absolutely love it. I, I, listen, I would ditch everything except my cleansers, get the eye makeup off, get my face makeup off. I could, this would be my Desert Island product. Now, this takes the tiniest amount. What I do has the little and I use literally that over there, literally about a dime size. And I rub it and warm it up in my hands, get it out of the palms where it settles, and then I pat my face. Sometimes I have to do this to get it off of my and up under, get my neck, my face, and just pat it, get it all worked into my skin, under my eyes, on my eyelids, all over. If there's any left down on my decollete, but for sure on the backs of my hands. Now, I've, because I've talked about this so much, I know many of you have tried it, and I know many of you love it and use it too. It would be your Desert Island product, you've told me. But some of you don't like it. And, and see, that's just it. We're not all the same. What works for me doesn't always work for you. What works for you may not work for me. We're different. We have different skins. My skin typically is normal, leaning a little bit to the dry side. Right now, in the wintertime, and even though I'm in the, uh, the, you know, the northwest part of Florida, in the panhandle here, we rarely get really cold weather, but this last week or so, God, well, we know it's been this way all across the country. It's been cold. It's been below freezing. My skin just felt parched. This is wonderful. This is one of the, it has a lot of different herbs and plants in it. And this is one of those new oils that are out that, now I, I say it's not greasy, but I Imagine if you use too much, it would be really oily on your skin. I don't. I start off without, like I say, with just about a dime size in the palm of my hand. And that's 99% of the time, that's all I need. Occasionally, I might just add a tiny little speck more if I feel like I didn't, if I missed a place. I love this. I love it. The last thing I use is a sunscreen. And for me, sunscreen is the very last thing I do before I put my makeup on. And I really do like the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen with the SPF of 40. I really do like this. It's clear. And it almost feels like a primer on your skin. But I really do like this. You can't see it. You can't feel it. It's just my go-to when it comes to sunscreen. And I use that pretty much every single day as my last step before my makeup. Now I'm going to show you in just a minute a couple of items that I use from time to time when I think I need them. But I want to I want to say something about uh, ordering off of QVC or home shopping and I'll use those for an example and one of the reasons why I like to order things like this from them is because most of the time on their products they have auto delivery. and. Auto delivery is free if it's offered. It's, if you order from them, it's free. And 
basically what happens is it's, I think they start off setting it up maybe every 90 days. You'll receive whatever you ordered at that same price for uh, every 90 days unless you go in and you remove it or you change your delivery schedule. And you can change, you can remove the item from auto delivery at any point in time. You can, you can change how often you get products depending on how fast you use them up. And because this was a today's special, it was so much cheaper than what it would be, you know, if I had just ordered it outright. And so it means that I can continue to receive this at the price I paid for it that day. I love that. I'm on auto delivery for this. I'm on auto delivery for the Age Reset Serum Intensive. I am on auto delivery for the uh, moisture cream. I am on auto delivery for my Divine Elixir. And, I, and I'll tell you something else that I do. And this, I'm gonna show you a prime example. I've been on auto delivery for this Divine Elixir uh, with Manuka Honey Plus C oil for years. But every once in a blue moon, he'll have a special Dimitri James, who owns Skin, will have a special, and it will be like a this day only, where it is a few dollars cheaper, or maybe ten dollars cheaper. And what I do is I go in, I order it, and set myself up on auto delivery, even though I've already am on auto delivery for it. And when my order goes through, then I go back and I cancel that last auto delivery. I just cancel it completely. So from that point on, I'm getting the same product for a cheaper price. And that price is locked in until I stop it. Well, until I stop it. Now, some things that they have auto delivery on, I will tell you, they will tell you on the front end that the auto delivery is only good for a year. And you can bump it up if you love it and you think, oh, I might not get, ever get this price again. You could get it every month if you wanted to at that price. It's your choice. So I don't, I don't know, about six months ago or so, I can't, I can't remember. I just happened to have home shopping on and Dimitri was on and it was some kind of special. And let me show you what he had. Look, look at this. This is one fluid ounce. This is 3.6. And it was maybe $20 more. I, it was uh, it was like crazy, and you know what I did? I had already two of these back up, but I placed the order for this, went on auto delivery for it for that price, and it's mine at this size at this price. I haven't opened this one, and of course I won't. But that happens that happens with a lot of things on there. I, I tell you when they have their good prices. Now let me and let me tell you something. I've read reviews on this uh, on HSN, and like I say, I, I'm amazed that some people gave this said, "Oh, it's a good product, but it's deceiving," and it's deceiving because it that bottle has a false bottom to it, and it makes you look like you're getting a lot more product than you are. It says a fluid ounce. When you look at the description, when you place the order, it says one fluid ounce. One ounce of product is one ounce of product regardless of what the bottle is. It's one ounce of product. This is one ounce. This is 3.6 ounces. Wow. So, you know, read your labels. Read your labels. I, I love it. Like I say, if if it were, if I could only use one product, it would be this. And I will tell you, some days, 
this is all I use. It's all I use. I take my eye makeup off, wash my face, put this on day or night. It's all I do. That's how much I like now, it. Now, let me show you what I do uh, when I think my skin needs it. And again, t two of them, well, the only two are skin products. I just like, I like, for some reason, I like the skin products. I like the fact that if you read the ingredient labels, you won't see water as the first ingredient. You don't see water. But anyway, this is the skin, uh, what's it called? The Divine Elixir Luminous Skin Mask with Manuka Honey Plus C. And what you do with this, and I do this, again, when my skin feels like it needs it. I do this maybe every couple of weeks. And it's a really thick, thick gel-like cream. And you just, it says, apply a thick layer to clean, moisturized face. To intensify benefits, add two to three drops of the luminous skin oil to the mask before applying. And I take a little spatula, I take some of this out, put it in the palm of my hand, put a couple of drops of this, do it again, really mix it up, and then put it all over my face. And then it tells me to wait 15 to 20 minutes, then rinse off or remove with a warm washcloth. Follow with another two to three drops of the luminous skin oil. I love the way my skin feels when I do this mask. That's pretty much the only mask I do anymore. I'm 79 and a half years old. I'm tired of all these 49 steps of skincare. Okay, the next thing I've been using for years, I, I used to do this more often than I do now, but as I'm aging and my skin seems to be getting a little bit more thin. I don't, I for sure don't want to do any damage to my skin, but I use the Dermapeel. And this, I believe, is the number one selling skincare product on the Home Shopping Network. I could be wrong about that, but I believe it is. It is a, an exfoliator. And it's what he calls one of his non-negotiables. It's a thermoenzymatic microdermabrasion treatment with VC5 crystal technology. And what you do is, I'm just going to unscrew this, although it has a flip top, but, oops, this is really grainy. Basically, wet your face. After you've cleansed your face, now make sure your face is clean, then wet your face and put, I usually put about a dime size, and you can feel the beads in this. And this is not like peach pits ground up or anything that's gonna really damage your skin, but you can feel that it's gritty, and you massage it all over your skin. In my, you know, five years ago, 10 years ago, when I would use these types of products, man, I am rubbing hard and I am scrubbing because basically you're taking off that outer layer of skin and that, that dries and just sits there and keeps any products that you are using from, if they can be absorbed, and that's debatable for me, it, it keeps anything from absorbing into your skin with that dry skin sitting there. So, so I want to get that off of there and I just massage it all over my face. I'm, I'm backing off of being too harsh with my pressure on my skin these days. Once I get it all over my face, really rubbed in, and uh, by the way, really avoid the eye area. This has a menthol fragrance to it and Sometimes if I get it too close to my eyes, it I can feel, not that it burns, but I can, it's like I can feel the menthol. You know how that smells. But after I'm finished, I splash it off. Make sure I get it off. Sometimes I may have to take my t towel or my cloth and sort of dust off any remaining granules that might still be there. But let me tell you, your skin feels unreal. I mean, the little, 
it's it's almost like if you have some really fine lines maybe they're not really fine lines it's just that dead skin <sighs> give me these i'm good as i said earlier i'm way too old to honestly believe that anything that i'm using is gonna make me look younger i have a ton of skincare every time our kids or friends visit i pull the skincare out and say here you see anything you like take it i get rid of it i can't give it to you guys because i've used it and it's just not going to be sanitary for someone that i don't know if someone i know wants to take that chance on it I know they're not going to sue me to high heaven if they break out <laughs> or have anything go wrong. Hey, and I don't think they would, but that, that's just not the thing to do. So I will, I will, I'm always giving stuff away to company when they come. Some of it I'm using, but let me show you. I'm using it on my body. I'm going to get, here's a prime example. This is the Corez Wild Rose. What is it? Vitamin C Brightening Sleeping Facial. I don't remember how long I've had this. Probably a couple of years. I saw it and believed the promise they made. I have used it, you can tell. But I pulled it out a couple of days ago. And I've been using this as a hand cream. I'll use it up on my arms. I'll use it on my legs. I'll use it on my feet. I don't care. I figure if it's good for my face, it can be good for my feet. So I use a lot of things like this just on my body, on my body. Now, the little bonus I was telling you about, and I tell you, you know, I look at other people's videos and I look, and then I look at my vanity and I go, oh, there is just too much. It's just too much. I've got all this stuff out there. It's just too much. So a while ago, months ago, really, I had this brainstorm about what to do with all of this. And this is my little skincare container. I got this at the Dollar Tree. I bought three or four of them. They're just little. And let me show you what I do. These are travel sizes. I don't I didn't buy travel sizes, but this is it, but you can buy these at Walmart. You can buy them anywhere. But this is these are, you know, the airline regulation sizes that you can carry on the airplane. So I have my cleanser in this one. I just pull this out when I'm getting ready to wash my face and do my skincare. It's under my sink and I pull it out, wash my face. Then this was, I don't even know what was in this little blue bottle, but this is my Divine Elixir. Then I have my moisturizer face cream. This is my Derma Peel. I do keep my sunscreen in there. I don't repot that. This is my Equate to clean my eyes off. I keep a few cotton pads. I can't re-bottle this because it's in a it's in a like a different kind of pump. So that that's there. So these are the things that I use every single day to clean my face with and do my skin care and the, as I said I got this at Dollar Tree it just sits right under my vanity or you could put it in a drawer it doesn't take up much room at all and it's all right there I love it love it every once in a blue moon I feel like I need to change things up a little bit and I'll go into my stash and dig out a maybe some Genifique or Lancome or I, I have so much. I, there's so much that I have fallen for and I'm just not going to do that anymore. I have made up my mind. I have enough skincare probably to last me the rest of my life. Truth be known, I don't know if it would ever, I'm sure it would eventually go bad, but, but when you constantly pull out and use the very same things, that that should be telling you something. Should be telling you something. Again, I'm going to list everything below. If you're interested, just click on the link and read about it. If there's a video which on home shopping or QVC, you should be able to watch a video about it. You should be able to come down and 
look at the description and see the ingredients and you make the decision that's right for you. You make it. I'm tired. I'm just over all of the hype when it comes to skincare. I just, I think it's important, but I, I just, for me personally, believe that there are a lot of promises made that are not kept. And I have finally come upon products that I'm okay with, that, that just work for me. And I know some of you are gonna say, oh, Patty, if you try, you need to try this or you need to try that. I'm through. <laughs> I'm through. <laughs> I'm, uh, as I said, I, you, I, the chances are I probably have it in my stash. And this is what I've chosen to stick with, except for what I wanna just do something different for a day or two. And usually when I switch out a product, it's only for a day or two, and I go right back to it, right back to it. We're, as I've, and again, I've said this so many times, we're all so different. Find what works for you. Find what works for you. And I know many of you already have. And you love what you're using. And you wouldn't think of using anything else. And I think that's awesome. I think that's just fine. But I'm, I'm tired of the switching around to something different every time I see something shown here on YouTube or, or advertised or shown on a young woman, and I'm not a young woman anymore. I, it's just, I'm, I'm tired of it. So this is what I'm doing. I want to thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. You guys and girls, you are my heart. You're my heart. I love you. Go out and have a wonderful day. Be kind to yourself. Be so kind so that you can be kind to others. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.